I've never done a reading before I've read from my first book, my second book. And so I thought I would read two poems from my next book, which uh, the first one was 2006, the second 2011, and I'm planning for 2016. Put it on your calendar, be here. <laughs> I like that five-year space out. It's good. Poets are lucky. We don't have to turn out a book a year. Like, um, But my... my New work um, is part of a collection called The Muse Demanded Lyrics. Because the muse doesn't ask, the muse doesn't request, the muse demands. Um, and uh, this is called A Spanish Anna. And if you want placement, it's, uh, it's Venice. I saw a Spanish Anna dance on the Vaporetto. Her face was bright, her eyes were dark, and whispered what a man desires. The canal was gray with rain. A rope was thrown. People boarded, speaking ancient foreign tongues. We sat in seats below the deck and scanned the water for images. Great white facades rose from the sea. She spun circles with a friend, their wrists crossed to hold a center, whirling with laughter, and then collapsed. I saw a Spanish Anna step upon the dock like a memory come back, and then a gate dropped. Uh, last poem is uh, called uh, Villa Schiara, and it's a little park in Rome on a hill, and I was inspired to go there by Richard Wilbur, uh, an American poet, great American poet, and um, so I took a little quote from his poem about the park to start off my poem, and uh, his quote is, where eyes become the sunlight, and the hand is worthy of water, where eyes become the sunlight, and the hand is worthy of water. And mine begins. Forget about fountains and wrecked temples, marketplace ghosts shopping in eternity, dead souls sleep down in the riverbed. The circus is empty. Caius built a pyramid, and futility shows us nothing strange, but something that already exists. Fast sounds slide past, yet no one is there. People collapse. Shoes get ruined, hungry looks burn in their eyes when the park, high on a hill, appears with the magic of ultimate arrival. For angels, saints, columns, and domes are worth the voyage far away from home. Wicked statues dance out from the hedges. Nude cherubs mock all seriousness. A satyr and centaur prance the garden, searching for partners. The path opens to solitary oblivion with a view, which is a good time if you can stand it. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>